I am a Buffy fanatic. Many things Joss Whedon fanatic. Dr. Horrible sing-along blog, Firefly, Serenity, Cabin in the Woods, yo. Dollhouse, starting with episode six, I think it is. I hate Angel the series. I am so dedicated to not spouting out bullshit. I actually rewatched all five seasons just to be sure. Still hate it. Still hate that show. Cordelia, impregnated by demons three times, the final of which leads to her ultimate demise. Fred is hollowed out and just becomes a demon. An old one, whatever the fuck. Lila's in it. She has a good feminist rant at one point. They play the damsel in distress. The overarching message. It's a show about redemption. No. It's a show about the fact that you can never be redeemed. No matter what you do, how hard you try, how much good you did, you will never be redeemed. What a fucking awful message for people. You are never done feeling bad about yourself. It's just we have enough messaging from the cosmetic companies. We're not good enough no matter what we do. We don't need a fucking Joss Whedon show. He tells Faith that she'll never be done getting redeemed. It's all resentful that Spike was only upset for a few weeks after he got his soul. He isn't happy unless he's sad. It's like those people, you know those people? The ones that you're like, oh, the reason that you're depressed, it's become your safety net. You wouldn't know what to do with yourself as a human if depression wasn't the biggest part of your identity. And you know how those people are constantly like pissing you off? You know how you want to shake them? Be like, can you just let go of some of the pain, please? You know those people? That's what Angel promotes that kind of self-destructive stay in your pit of despair every time you watch it you're just beat over the head all of this stuff is incredibly obnoxious you still love all the characters so you keep watching it wesley's character development from buffy through the end of angel next level cordelia before they decided it was a real good idea to completely character assassinate her and only give her one episode to get her character back amazing character development love charisma carpenter Love Mercedes McNabb. Amy Acker can act. I love the underlying message. You should always do what's right even if it doesn't matter. What actually matters is doing what's right. That's a positive message. If you're watching Buffy, you might be confused about some of the crossovers. Where the fuck did Faith come from? What the fuck is this amulet? Why did Angel suddenly appear? When shit like that happens, just be like, oh, something must have happened in Angel that I don't need to see because that show's stupid. And then don't watch the show because it's gonna give you the same messages that cosmetic companies give you. You don't need any more of those.